So we walk right there to Himmelgarn. Again, I apologize. I kind of cut off the air there for a brief moment. Things are overheating up here. It's, it's warm, so some of the technology standpoint uh, been a little overheated. So second and third now. Still only uh, or one run's already come home to score, and still nobody out here in the top or bottom half of the second inning. Right back up the middle, one run will come on home to score, and she'll be safe at first. Now another run comes on home to score. Great recognition. So make that now a six to nothing lead here for the Longhorns. Hadley Bramble getting the job done right there, knocking home two runs. Sophia Reagan out to plate. So a foul ball right there from Reagan. Quickly, nothing and one to begin things. Again, the first two innings of the ball game here this afternoon. Each of those two have been uh, recorded three runs here so far. And right now, we got a Longhorn still with nobody out here in the inning. Looking to add on a little bit more. And nearly a play made right there by the third baseman, Anderson, but just out of the reach. So one and two to count. So that pitch high right there, and there goes Bramble in there safely, a third one, another stolen base. So two and two to count. It's going to get by the catcher. We're going to, well, originally thought we might have a play at the plate, but Brantley, or Hadley Bramble, with uh, quite a bit of speed right there, it would get in there rather easily. So we're going to have a full count here on Reagan. So we have a little mound visit here for the Outlaws. Like I said, a very, uh, very good afternoon for some softball. Again, the heat continuing to crank up a little bit more. That's the reason why it kind of created a. Uh, a little bit of disruption here with our broadcast this afternoon. Again, we do apologize there for that. But, again, a lot of people out here to enjoy some softball. Everybody got their tent set up. and sure food and drinks and everything else you need in order to enjoy. It'll be a little bit of a lengthy day of, uh, of softball out here from Raider Field. Again, this is the first of two games here for the Longhorns this afternoon. They will play again tomorrow at, I believe it's 1.30. So walk right there to Reagan. So Sophia is at first base, and now the first base, number 17, Hallie Parks will step in at home plate. Again, still with nobody out here in the inning. So they said that she did offer at that pitch. So it's nothing in one. Again, Reagan moved up to second base there on the stolen base. Fouled off. Right side. Now no balls and two strikes.
Hilberg here with the pitch. That's going to sail high, and that's going to get by the catcher. So again, another base taken here from Reagan. She now moves up to third. Now the count at two balls and two strikes. And following Parks will be Jaylee Twig. And Brooke Westfall to follow her. So one down there in the inning. Jaylee Twig will now step in. So Sophia Reagan still down at third base, one away, seven to nothing, Longhorns. Again, they played it four here in the bottom half of the second inning. And that's going to be popped up there, shallow center field, and that's going to get down. She's going to have to motor right here, and she will get to second base. That's going to be an RBI double there for Jaylee Twig. So nice piece of hitting as now we'll have the catcher, number 83, Brooke Westfall, stepping in. Fly ball, right field. That's going to get down. Twig will advance now around third and head on home. So that will now be an RBI single. Here for Brooke Westfall as now the Longhorns lead at nine to nothing. Fifth hit now today for the Longhorns. Again, still here in the second inning, only one away. And now we'll have the second baseman, number 25, Sydney Van Dievener. Popped up down the first base side. That's going to be foul. So nothing in one here on Van Dievener. Got Addison Ruddick following her. Here's the other one. That pitch will sail high for ball one. So we'll have another stolen base here for the Longhorns now at second base with a one ball, one strike count. So another fine piece of hitting this time by Van Dievener. And that will make that now a 10 nothing lead here for the Longhorns. So the hits keep on coming now, the sixth of the afternoon for the Longhorns. And the right fielder, number 23, Addison Roddick, now will step in. So we'll have a new pitcher here for the Outlaws. Again, uh, a little pitching change here. We'll take a quick timeout. Again, it's 10 nothing Longhorns here. Bottom half of the second inning. Still only one away with one on base. We'll stop aside and uh, we'll be back here with more here in the bottom half of the second inning from Raider Field here in Selma, Indiana.
All right, folks, can welcome back again. Uh, they're from the pitching chains. Now pitching here for the Outlaws is number three, Miley Stone. So she now toes the rubber here for the Southwest Outlaws. 1-0 is your count here. We have uh, Addison Reddick here at the plate. As that's ball two. That's going to sail by the pitcher. And now runner will now advance up to second base. Here's the pitch to Ruddick. And that's going to be ball four, so a four pitch walk. As now the Longhorns will have runners on the corners. Again, only one away here in the inning. And that will bring up the left fielder, number 99, Brantley Towell. And so again, she's the one that started it all here in this inning. Uh, that leadoff triple. So no balls and a strike. Second, third now. Is that pitch will be fouled off there to the backstop? Right by the pitcher and right there in through in the center field as two runs will come on go ahead and come on score. So make this now a 12-0 lead. As Tao will now move up to second base. So a two RBI single. Advance to second there on the throw. Seventh hit now of the day here for the Longhorns. As they continue to Put everything together. So one ball, one strike here on Berlin Van Horn. Strike two called. So one ball, two strikes. The pitch here from Stone. That's going to miss high and away for ball two. So Van Horn has now worked the count to full. Three balls and two strikes. The payoff pitch here from Stone will miss high and away, and that's going to be a walk out of Van Horn. Nice job right there by the young lady. Being patient and aware of Pitch location right there, so um, all right. Well, that's going to go ahead and end the inning. So again, three to nothing, or uh, three. To, it was three to nothing there after the first, but uh, nine runs come ahead and come on home to score. Here in the bottom half of the second inning to give the Longhorns a 12 to nothing lead. We'll step aside and we'll be back here with your top of the third inning again here on the Indiana Longhorns Softball YouTube channel.
All righty, folks, and welcome back here with the top of the third inning and here from beautiful Raider Field in Selma, Indiana. We have the uh, Longhorns and the Outlaws quick 12-0 lead here after two innings of play. We do have a new pitcher here for the Longhorns. That is double zero, Autumn Himmelgarn. So one ball and one strike here on Harley Taylor, number 22, here for the Outlaws. So one ball, two strikes. Again, uh, first two innings was pitched by Berlin Van Horn. So Hemmelgarn coming on here in relief. Uh, she will get her swinging for strike three for out number one here in the inning. So now batting, it's going to be Alyssa Hilberg. Strike two, gets her swinging right there. So Himmelgarn, so far looking pretty good right now. Got the first strike out, looking for a second right here. Nice job right there from Hillberg laying off of that one. So that pitch is inside. So one ball and two strikes. There's one two offering. That pitch will be low and inside. And that's strike three got her looking. We're out number two here in the inning. So Himmelgarn has quickly erased the first two there in Taylor and Hilberg. So now it's going to bring up Natalie Fogel. So quickly, 0 and 2. And that will get her swinging for strike three to end the inning. So Himmelgarn comes on in relief here in the top of the third inning. Quickly shuts down the outlaws there by striking out the side. So again, 12 nothing will be your final score here this afternoon again they have a hour uh, time limit on these games so again this will be your final score here this afternoon Longhorns 12 Outlaws 0 so the Outlaws 0 and 2 here on the day again uh, they will be back at it I believe uh, to either later on or tomorrow uh, but now the Longhorns will be back up again next uh, so we'll have another broadcast there of the Indiana Longhorns here this afternoon coming up here in about 10 to 15 minutes from now. So, again, we want to thank you all for tuning in. Again, uh, I'm Brandon Morvillius. Again, uh, thank you all for watching here from Raider Field here in Selma, Indiana. We'll see you next time here on the Indiana Longhorns Softball YouTube channel.